everyone, welcome to day 22 of Vegan June, the last video in this series. And so here's what I ate yesterday. For breakfast I had sausages, beans, mushrooms and tomato. I first placed two of my sun-dried tomato and basil sausages straight from the freezer on a lined baking shelf and put them in the oven for 20 minutes. In that time I heated up some baked beans, the recipe for this is down below. I then chopped up some leftover oyster mushrooms and halved one large tomato and I cooked those off in a frying pan. I then served up the sausages with the mushrooms and the tomatoes and the baked beans and it's like a mini English breakfast. You could also serve this up with superfood toast or my mini hash browns. I'll link the recipe for these too. I forgot to mention in the video where I showed the sausage recipe but you can freeze them and like I did here I just placed them directly in the oven to heat through and they were actually really really good for breakfast. For a mid-morning snack I had some crudités with a tahini Dijon dip. I first just cut up one peeled carrot and two small bell peppers into sticks. I then made my dip using three tablespoons of tahini, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of maple syrup, two teaspoons of lemon juice and some black pepper. Added those together in a glass, mixed it really well and then popped the crudités in with it. It was actually one of you guys who said that you make a tahini and mustard dip with black pepper so I had to give it a try though. I find tahini can be a little bit bitter so I found just adding in the lemon juice and the maple syrup really helped to take the bitterness away and it worked so nicely with the sweeter vegetable sticks like the peppers and the carrots. For lunch I made some cauliflower hot wings. I started by preheating my oven to 200 degrees celsius and for this I cut up half a cauliflower into florets and then I made a light batter in a bowl using two tablespoons of chickpea flour mixed with one teaspoon of garlic powder some salt, ground black pepper and then I whisked that all together with a third of a cup of water. I then added the cauliflower florets into the bowl and made sure that they were well coated. I tipped them out onto a lined baking tray, I just reused the one from the sausages that morning and popped them in the oven to bake for 15 minutes. In that time I made a hot sauce by adding a tablespoon of tomato paste into a pan with a good splash of hot water, around a quarter of a cup. I then added in one minced clove of garlic, one fresh finely chopped chilli and a teaspoon of white vinegar. I heated that through, then removed the cauliflower from the oven, drizzled over the hot sauce, coated them all well and then placed that back in the oven for another 10 minutes. I then served them up with some leftover tzatziki that I'd made the day before and some chopped spring onions. It initially seemed a bit of a weird combination with the tzatziki but actually the spiciness from the cauliflower and the cool cucumber minty cashew yogurt worked really well together but you could make like a vegan ranch sauce or make my sour cream to dip them in. This is so good, a great one if you like your spicy food. Sometimes I really don't know what to do with leftover cauliflower aside from cauliflower cheese and putting it into curries so this is another great way to use it up. For something in the afternoon I had a strawberry and kiwi coconut ice lolly. I made these the afternoon before and I first just sliced up some kiwi we removed the peel and sliced some strawberries and then added those into my ice lolly moulds. I topped them with coconut water and left them to set in the freezer overnight. And it wasn't much of a snack but I would had quite a big breakfast and then lunch as well so it's just something to cool down with really and I've just loved trying different ways of making ice lollies with leftover smoothies, nut milks and juices. They're so easy to make, you can do them in so many different ways using loads of different fruits and they really are a great snack on a warm day. For dinner we had a vegetable cashew curry. I started by dicing up one white onion then I chopped up 
one aubergine, two peeled carrots, one peeled potato, one courgette and some cauliflower florets. I added the onions to a pan with a little coconut oil and cooked it off until soft. I then minced in two cloves of garlic, added in a teaspoon of mustard seeds and allowed those to heat through until they started to pop. I then added in one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of curry powder and I allowed those to cook until they became really fragrant. Instead of those you could just use a curry paste and I next added in one thumb sized piece of fresh grated ginger, one finely chopped green chilli, then the potatoes, the carrots and the cauliflower. I cooked those for a few minutes before then adding in the courgette and the aubergine and I next added in one bay leaf, seasoned it with salt and pepper, added in a cup of veg stock and then placed the lid on and left it to simmer for 10 minutes. Over in my food processor I blended up one cup of soaked cashews with one cup of water until it was smooth and then into the pan I added two tablespoons of currants and then the cashew cream. The only thing with this is that it makes it quite mushy but it tastes amazing though instead you could always use one can of coconut milk. I then served that up on a bed of brown rice, topped it with some whole cashew nuts and some fresh coriander which in my opinion are both essential for toppings on curries. It's just a great one pot easy vegetable curry that's a great way to use up more leftover vegetables and you can also use broccoli, beans, peas red onion, I always used to have a biryani curry with caramelised red onions and it made it so amazing. For dessert we made a mini chocolate fondue. I started by melting one tablespoon of coconut oil in a pan, I then added in some chunks of vegan chocolate and let that gently melt. In the meantime I cut up some of my raspberry jam donut energy balls, placed those on a plate added on some sliced bananas, some sliced kiwi and some black cherries. I then added the melted chocolate to a dish and we had that whilst we watch a film. We'll usually just have a bowl of popcorn but this is another fun great option and you can dip in whatever you like. And that is it for Vegan June. I want to take this chance to say thank you all so much for taking the time to watch these videos and leave such lovely comments. You've made this series thoroughly enjoyable to do and I'll now get to work on replying to all of your comments. I will go back to doing these videos once a week alongside my cruelty free beauty videos so you will still be getting them and I really hope that you've enjoyed it thank you so much again and I will see you soon much love bye